What the hell? This isn't real. This isn't real. Get out of my head! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another installment of WWE 2K19 My Career Mode as we continue wrapping up Season 4. Things are getting out of hand here for the Rooks. Tonight is Class of Champions with the Rooks taking on the New Day. But you have to wonder what the psychology is for them. How, how focused are they on this match? In the last episode, the last pay-per-view, the Rooks, their, their tallest member, the Universal Champion, was assaulted during his match with Baron Corbin against a masked attacker, a demonic clown of sorts, which we later came to find out was none other than Bray Wyatt. And you have to wonder how much of the mind games are getting to the Rooks. Now this match has no title implications, but it is a friendly contest. But even still, you want to maintain momentum as a tag team, and especially against the following tag team. The power of positivity. The New Day SmackDown Tag Team Champions re represented by Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston here tonight taking on the Rooks in Tag Team Competition. But as I was saying earlier, you have to wonder if Averett's able to focus, if Cole's able to focus. One of their own was just assaulted and you never know if he's going to come back to attack Averett or attack Cole. Bray Wyatt and Averett have had history. They've had a rivalry that went deep that cut into the psychology the past of Avery but the time is to focus it is time for competition here tonight against Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston you would think in under circumstances that it would be a friendly contest, almost a day off, just to test yourself against one of the best tag teams in the division, but so much weighing on his mind, you have to wonder if it's gonna come into play here tonight. Before we get started, make sure you hit that bell notification so you never miss an upload, like the video, and subscribe as the bell is wrong. Averett and Woods are starting this matchup. Woods coming out firing with a kick. Averett trying to bounce back with a shot to the stomach. Going to basics. Beautiful suplex. Avery trying to keep his momentum. Bouncing off the ropes. Elbow drop onto the chest of Woods. But Woods firing back by trying to use his speed. That agility he has. And now repeated shots to the face in the turnbuckle. But Avery returning one of his own. And as stated previously, if not had been stated, Wolf will not be in action tonight. Sustaining internal injuries from Bray Wyatt's mandible claw. The weeks of goading from Bray Wyatt. The fiend, as he likes to call him. We can only wait to see how badly this will affect the momentum of all three members of the Rooks as Xavier Woods maintains control in this matchup, getting him to his partner's corner. The, the New Day, a supremely intelligent tag team with veterans like Kofi Kingston, Big E, and Woods tagging along with them. Multiple tag team title reigns. Kofi firing on all cylinders, but Averett popping up to his feet. Kofi taking too much time. Kofi getting out of the way of that knee attack. 
Now Kofi reversing it, throwing Avery to his corner, trying to get him to the turnbuckle, but Avery not having it. Flurry of strikes, and once again, oh my god, a Michinoku driver. Looked like he was going for a suplex, it was a Michinoku driver. Look at the Phoenix Splash from the second rope. Kofi smart. Ring awareness at full display here as he gets to the ropes. And now the battle goes outside. Referee on a count of one. Avery getting Kofi back into the ring. Going off the ropes. Going for that drop kick. But Kofi getting out of the way. Smart. Stunned against the corner. Now Kofi getting ahead of steam. Look at this. Monkey flip. Tossing Avery halfway across the ring. Kofi trying to cut him off. Avery getting the hot tag. Here comes Cole Quinn. A quick clothesline. Kitchen sink knee. But now Kofi putting a stop to it. Catching his leg. And now Cole reversal. Going to the corner, knee to the face. Cole Quinn is now in the matchup and going absolutely ballistic. That was the thing the Rooks needed to get their fresh tag member into the matchup. Kofi reversing it though, neck breaker. And just like that, the New Day are back on top in this matchup. But now both Cruiserweights in the match. Xavier Woods and Cole Quinn. Woods not having it. Cruiserweight is only a technicality, of course. It's more of a moniker. Both men, light heavyweight. Woods rang at a good 210, I do believe. Drop toe hold from Cole Quinn. As we know, Cole Quinn has put on a lot of muscle since his return. Kick to the stomach, and now what's Woods going here? Oh my God, single leg face breaker. With his knee and Woods claiming it's over, but Cole giving him too much time to breathe. Cole and Woods at a standoff stalemate. Both men cutting each other off every time one tries to build momentum with the other. And now I need the stomach of Xavier Woods. The power of Cole Quinn. Going for the cover, but a kick out at one from Xavier Woods. A battle so far here tonight. And Cole looking for it. Double underhook. Tiger Driver 98. That could do it. No. Kick out. Bro broken up by Kofi Kingston. And now Woods getting... Cole in a headlock, letting him out of it to try and take the air out of him. Kick to the stomach. Rolling neck breaker. Beautiful rolling neck breaker as Woods drives a fist into the skull of Cole Quinn. Getting him up to his feet. Now Irish went to the corner. This is what Cole doesn't want to do. He does not want the New Day to start building ahead of steam. And here it comes. What they like to call the Unicorn Stampede. We could be here all night if they wanted to. They are well within their bounds in the rules, up to a four or to a five count and a tag out, keeping each member fresh. The stampede just caving in the chest of Cole Quinn. Looking for the big move, Kofi going for it. Drop kick to the stomach. Cole Quinn's stomach may have been trampled. The ribs shattered. Avery going for the. Going for the breakup, successfully getting it. The ref might have caught some of it too. The ref is down. Michinoku driver from Kofi Kingston. The Rooks are in a bad way here. But Cole reversing. Knee to the face, trying to shift the momentum, shift the scales of war to their side. Knee to the face. The referee is back up. Cole going to the corner here, calling Kofi up. Looking to set something up, firing from the corner. Beautiful bicycle knee to the back of the skull. Kofi Kingston might be unconscious. Oh, I guess not. Firing back, pushing Cole to his own corner, but Cole is all alone here. Both members of the Rooks separated. Avery on the outside trying to recover from that big Michinoku driver from Kofi Kingston. Cole fighting back on his own, though. And now, neck breaker from Kofi. And Kofi firing off the WWE Universe with the power of positivity. Cole trying to make it to his corner. Not happening. The New Day maintaining a dominant hold in this matchup. And look at Kofi. This is what you don't want, Kofi. Going off the top rope. Vintage Kofi Kingston. Drop kick. Going for that lariat. Missing it. The stomp. 
planting Cole through the ring. Aver trying to get up, trying to get his partner up, but Kofi boom drop. That could do it. One, two, no. Break up at one. And Woods right there to fire back, hooking the arms on a suplex. This is not looking good for the Rooks here. Oh, no. We know what's coming after this. Kofi looking for in trouble in paradise. That is all she wrote. Thanks for coming, Cole and Avery. No! Kick out at 2.9. Kofi couldn't believe it, but wasting no time. Irish whip to the outside. Now grabbing his leg. Cutting him under. Back hitting the hardest part of the apron. The New Day showing their, their much more experienced status as a tag team than Cole and Avery. Not a single wasted motion. Not a single moment they haven't capitalized on the momentum they have with one another. This is a learning experience for the Rooks, the Raw Tag Team Champions, in a bad way as the referee gets to a count of three. Cole calling Kofi up to his feet. We know Cole's known for his high-flying acrobatics and go over that drop kick again, but missing. Kofi seeing that book one too many times. And now Cole using lightning quick hands and educated feet to try and maintain and shift the tide of war, but again cut off by Kofi Kingston. This might be a task too tall for them to handle. Avon on the corner begging his partner to tag him in as Cole not moving. Kofi firing up. Now Irish whip going off the ropes. Kofi going for that big stomp. Jumping over Cole instead. But Cole firing back with a knee to the face. Kofi thought he had something by Irish whipping him and jumping over. But it was in complete and Cole looking to use a corner to his advantage elevated going for it C2KO could this be it referee getting to the count one two Avery trying to cut Woods off but Kofi kicking out in just the nick of time and Cole being smart I was whipping Kofi to their corner Tag is made. Avery back in the matchup. Knee to the stomach. Repeated knees. And now double suplex. The Rooks back in this matchup. But Avery didn't able to cut Kofi off. Here comes Woods. Woods with that flying forearm. And another lariat. Going for that drop kick. But Avery backing off. Saw one too many of Woods' playbooks. Now Woods is the one in the outnumbered position here. Avery going for it, taking out the legs, going for a flurry of strikes. Those right hands coming, raining down under the skull of Xavier Woods. Avery getting Woods up to his feet, shot to the face, looking for it. Dawnbreaker! Dawnbreaker DDT! It would have been reasonable to go for the cover, but Avery maybe recognizing their situation, but it might have cost him and a sunset flip power bomb. Cole looking to get involved with the referees telling him to get back on the apron. A matchup here from two fantastic, incredible tag teams. Avery doing the smart thing, taking advantage of the positioning they have. Elbow and Zaguri. Taking full advantage of the outnumbered position they're in. Kofi's back on the apron. As you saw, Shadow King, no! Woods ducking underneath it. And now back again, getting Avery away from his tag team partner, but Avery fighting back, getting out of that corner. Shot to the face, looking for it for a second time, Dawnbreaker! And now Avery calling Woods up to his feet. If he hits this, it could be all over. Oh no, this might be it for the new day. The end of the ride is near. Woods' skull might have just ended in the front row. Kick to the face. Avery dragging Woods over. Trying to give him that extra bit of time. Oh, no. Avery's, Avery's not done. Kick to the stomach. We know what this is. You don't want him to build a full head of steam. Single leg drop kick. 
The second one connecting. Woods going for an attack, missing it. Roll over, neck breaker. And this is what Woods doesn't want. And now, spinning elbow. No. Oh, no. Woods getting him up on his feet. Aaron reversing. Reverse DDT. Woods needs to make a tag here. But I don't think it's going to matter. Avery got him up in his sights. Dead eye knee strike. His knee bouncing off the skull of Xavier Woods. And wasting no time for it. This looks like it's going to be it. Connecting. And this time getting a full head of steam momentum off the ropes. End of the ride. And now Avery going after Kofi. But Kofi seeing it coming with a shot to the face. Avery trying to buy them some time as Woods. Kofi trying to call for the tag. Doesn't matter. Avery seeing it. Suns and flip powerbomb. Woods looking up for his partner. But nowhere to be found. Spinning elbow to the skull of Xavier Woods. And Avery going back up top. Oh, no. He th thought against it. Thought against it. Rolling Woods over. And I'm trying to take the power out of Xavier Woods' knees. You know, Xavier Woods' main strategy is to get his opponent down, get them beaten, get them to where they can't move to go for that beautiful top rope elbow. Makes the tag. Woods all alone here. Cole, shot to the face. This looks like this will be the nail in the coffin for the New Day. CQKO. And that's doing it. One, two, three, and Woods. Kofi unable to stop the pin in time. Missing Cole. Cole moving his head out of the way and Kofi hitting the ref at just a second too late. But what a matchup here. What a match between the Rooks and the New Day. No team have anything to be ashamed of. What a contest. Absolutely beautiful tag team wrestling on display here at Clash of Champions. The celebration begins. Buzz, calm down. I've seen that look in your eye ever since SummerSlam happened. Move! Listen, I know that you're frustrated. I am too. But maybe I have a plan that can maybe alleviate some of this pressure so we don't make a crucial mistake. Are you trying to hear it or not? Let's hear it. Now, about Survivor Series. Cole, if you still think I'm worried about Survivor Series after what happened last month, Listen, I know it, but guess what? Survivor Series is coming up, and this is the first time that Raw, SmackDown, and NXT are competing on the same pay-per-view against one another. Maybe we go ahead and pay a visit to NXT and alleviate some of the stress we got. Didn't Finn go back to NXT? Last I checked. Perfect. 